Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Final Fantasy 2 playthrough and leading up to the uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth coming out December, uh, maybe starting December 2023, but it could be going into uh, winter of 2024. Uh, who knows? But um, we're doing Final Fantasy 2 here. I finished all Final Fantasy 1 that did not go so well towards the end, so I had to switch things up. Also, you'll notice that I'm wearing headphones right now, and that is because I have my surround sound, which was causing a, it was causing a delay just because it wasn't uh, from the game itself going through the game capture. Anyway, um, so we're going to start Final Fantasy 2. I'm going to pace it out over the next three months. And then we'll go on to Final Fantasy 3, which I've played Final Fantasy 2. I've beaten it. I actually like this better than the first one, I think, because the characters each have their individual names. And there's kind of a story to it that involves the characters and sort of... It doesn't really... I mean, I arguably maybe doesn't build on it, the character of the characters in this story. Um, it definitely doesn't do it as much as future games. But we're starting a new game. Okay, so I'm not creating i'm just doing the names of the characters we're just playing through so that we can follow the story um just like we did for the first one um this is by no means going to be a 100 percent completion um i mean if we find that the that there are things to do that we can do reasonably within a reasonable time we'll do them so yes we're going to start the game with these names A long-lived peace. Ooh. Is at an end. Oh. Casting bomb. Or summoning bombs? The Emperor of Palamecia has called forth monsters that, oh, and has begun his campaign for world conquest. Because I have to read fast. A rebel army arose in the Kingdom of Finn to thwart the Emperor's plans. It was so fast. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Eltar. Four youths from Finns also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire, but their escape wasn't over. All right, let's see where my, my camera should go. Maybe I can go over. Here? Up here? Yeah, up here in the corner I think would be best. There we go. Alright, so it doesn't matter what I do. I can just attack away. It's not going to do anything. It's going to take me right out. 700. <laughs> Zero. They are kicking my ass. The first time we see a, a fight that we were meant to lose this camera too. Will he live? Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within him. I think Menwu is a good person to do like also the narrator voice. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Finn, fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought him them here, I, I fear he was already I fear it Let me try that again. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the dreadnought they're building in Bafsk, their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. Go get him. Go get him, Hilda. Minwoo, you got this. I don't know, it seems like they're the underdogs. Where am I? 
Leon. Maria. Guy. Where are you? Firion, you're alive. I, I thought, I thought you'd... I'm fine, Maria. You seem all right too, Guy. But wait, where's Leon? Princess Finn, Princess of Finn saved us. Oh, that's Guy. Princess of Finn saved us. But Leon not here. I see. Don't worry. I'm sure he's okay. I'm not controlling this. Part. So you've regained your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please let us join the rebel army. I could never allow such a thing. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your, your lives away. You should return to your homes. The Imperial... The Imperials attacked and our parents... Our parents! I am truly sorry, but ch that changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you've nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. Okay, I'll learn Wild Rose. I didn't ask about it. The Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents our hope for a flourishing future of strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the, that the Emperor Empire's captives suffer there in confinement even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous to travel to now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of uh, some assistance. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Exit. Alright. I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. <laughs> you wasted no time using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Okay. Alright. I like these, these little character models. Wait a minute, what was that? Oh. Heading to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's a dangerous place you s to be, you see. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. The north lies, the, to the north lies a small village called Gatria. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're going to need all the advice they can spare. I'll learn that later if I need it. Um, for right now we're going purely for story. Oh, is there a... Oh yeah, okay, I can go fast like I did in... Oh, the potion. Get in the first one. Alright, so we're in Altair. This is a lot different than part one, where I started out in the main kingdom. Everything seemed fine at the beginning. Right now we're in a, a rebel army that was overthrown by the Empire. An arrow struck me in the back during the battle, leaving me in this state. Perhaps I have re really have grown old. My daughter Hilda here now serves as Red Regent. You should speak with her. I did. I'm Paul, greatest thief in the world, all the world. They've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. The Imperial coffers have my, kept my purse fat with gill lately. I have to get used to that. I never steal from the rebels, you can be sure of that. My home was in Finn, too. I can't even go now that the Empire has occupied the city. Alright. My name is Gordon. I was once a prince of, prince of Kashwan. I'm nothing. Now I'm nothing but a coward. When my brother Scott fell in battle, I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. When my brother... Oh. 
So you've asked to take up arms in the struggle? I'm so afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. I've been stalling here. I'm just a spineless coward. Go ahead, laugh. I deserve it. Laugh, I say. <laughs> um. Okay, leg eater. Let's just attack him. So, right off the bat, it looks like they start off... Oh yeah, that's right, I have to use the tomes. Okay. I'm gonna use... She's... Maria's gonna be the healer. Guy can be a magic user. Don't need to use a potion. Okay. So, Leg Eater is completely new. It's a new enemy. Let's see. Okay, goblins we've seen in the first one. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the first one, which is um, the first time I see an enemy, I'm going to sort of call them out. Or if there's, you know, any interesting fights that have, for, for any reason, if they're more interesting than um, just a normal uh, fight. Oh, Hornet, that's new. I'm just gonna mention if, you know, if, they're new if I've seen them before. Alright, pretty decent guys, pretty decent. So gil So how much gil do I have? I have 157 gil now. I could just keep fighting until I get enough. Okay, I think this is Gatria. Yeah, here it is. Hello. This is the village of Gatria. Finn is just over there, across the lake. See? Can I...? Oh yeah, okay, so it's the same as the first one. I can just look around like this. The Imperial forces have occupied Castle Finn. The gates are drawn and no one can enter. And with Imperial troops, troops and monsters roaming the streets, the city isn't any better off. Okay, where's the NPC I'm supposed to talk to? Ketria and Altair haven't fallen into the clutches of the Empire yet, but once the Dreadnought is complete, nothing will be able to stop the Empire. Oh no. The Dreadnought. There is a pub just on the outskirts of Finn. When the Empire invaded, the barkeep didn't make it out in time. They say he's still working there, pouring drinks for the Imperials. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I should go to... Finn and go to that bar, then. Oh, here's Finn. Great, there's no poison status that carries over from battle to battle. I guess I can fight these, but I shouldn't. It's just as we've heard. The city is crawling with Imperial soldiers. We have to be careful. Make sure not to get loose. Get too loose? Get too close. Get loose! Oh, but there are goblins. <laughs> Don't worry, Imperial soldiers. We'll take these goblins out for you. We're on your side. Rebel curse. Oh. Goodbye. Help, my friends are dead. <laughs> Alright, revive my friends, please. I don't think it else I don't think it even costs anything. We're back at Finn. Here we go. Here's the bar. That took way too long. Oh. Hello, everybody. I'm just gonna... kind of sneak around here. What? Where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter. These Imperials are as ill-bred as they come. I'm gonna ask Wild Rose. Aha! You're the with the rebels! You're the with the rebels! You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. Hmm? What am I going to do? I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. I'll see if you can get out. They'll probably capture you and kill you. Oh, secret doorway. Hmm. Here we go. Ooh, treasure. Potion. Potion. And a potion. Are you going to turn me over to the Empire? At least have the decency to kill me first. I don't want to take them to take me alive. Wild Rose. So, you rebel soldiers, are you 
My name is Scott. I'm a prince of Kashuan. Prince Scott? We were told you fell in battle. Thank goodness you're still alive. I am, but not, not for much longer. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. There's something you must, must tell my brother Gordon. Hey Gordon, we met him. Tell him I know he has great strength. He must learn to have more faith in, in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn, Finn fell so quickly is that Count Borgen betrayed us. He's been made a, a general of the Imperial Armor Army. There is one more thing. Tell Hilda, tell Hilda that I love her. Oh. No, no, don't deliver that last message. The confessions of a dying man, they would only bring her pain. My, my brother Leon, have you heard of him? I'm sorry, but I have not. I wish I could be of more help. Here, I want you to take my ring. I'm sure it will be of use. Maybe it's all this talking, but I've grown extremely tired. So if you'll excuse me, I, I just need to rest just for a little while. Thump. Oh. You obtained Scott's ring. Well, we got the ring now. Bye. I don't know who I'm saying bye to. There's nobody there anymore. All right, don't get in anybody's way. Bye. Oh, there was an airship. That was cool. I like this. I wonder if this is gonna get really more involved and fun as we go along. I know that Final Fantasy IV is the first that really develops characters and the story and everything. Uh, and then six is it really goes for it. I mean, because uh, I know, of course, I know seven is like my one of my favorite games. I don't know if it's my favorite. One of my favorite, definitely. Because it did, it was my favorite for a long time. Hey, Hilda, I'm back. Our password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. Okay, so I give her the ring. Show her the ring. That ring belonged to Scott. Is he... is he alive? He gave us his ring in Finn, just before he lost the last of his strength. Did he... did he say anything? No, nothing. Your Highness, please, the ring belongs with you. No, keep it. It suits the personage of courage. You infiltrated Finn and returned to tell the tale. You've proven yourselves quite capable. It would seem I underestimated your strength. I would have you lend that strength to our cause. There is a magical weapon known as Mithra, and we need strong warriors if we are to obtain it. We lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire fought with weapons and armor made of Mithril. I have charged Joseph, a man living in Salamand, with the task of finding a source of, source of Mithril. I do not know the cause, but we've been out of contact with him for some time now. Would you go with Minwu and Salamand to look into this? Sure. I heard Her Highness's words and have waited here for you since. To reach Salamand, we must first pass through the port town of Palum. Take my canoe and let us be on our way. Minwu, join the party. All right. You obtain a canoe. The Empire has suffered heavy losses at the Battle of Finn. They're building the Dreadnought in Bafsk to help compensate for those losses. Oops. All right. What's a dreadnought? The Empire is using the people of Bafsk to build the dreadnought. 
the dreadnought itself is massage massage massive heavily armed airship right, it's an airship what's an airship a man named Sid the former captain of Finn's order of the white knights built an airship hey that's the guy from the first one it's a ship that sails the skies, but the airship captivated him, body and soul, and he soon left Finn. We are poorer for his absence. I am told he now lives in Poft, granting travelers passage on his airship for a price. Okay. Okay, so now that I have the canoe, I can go across uh, rivers. Oh, so this must be Paloon. You folks wouldn't be looking to book a passage on a ship, would you? For just 32 gil, we'll see you safely go to Poft. Sure. Done. Just board the ship in front of town and off you go. See, this is kind of like in the first game. We proved to the king that we were capable. And then we went to the next town and fought some pirates. We're heading to Poft. Right, here we are, Poft. Yeah, folks looking for a ship? No, not yet. Come into the pub. Into the pub. Hello. You here to ride the airship? If you've got the cash, there's no place I can't take you. Uh, ask about airship. You want the airship? You pay the guy behind me. Oof, that oversized garbage scow airships aren't about how big you build them. Airships are all about what they can do. Okay. Can I interest you folks in a ride on Sid's Pride and Joy, the only airship of its kind in all the world? No matter how far, we'll take you to your destination in the blink of an eye. Of course, transportation is of this fine caliber comes at a cost. Interested? Sure. Oh, okay. Um... I can pay the guy for sell to go to Salamand. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I'd get much more experience going and battling my way there. Let me see what kind of let me see what kind of nonsense they have cooking up over here. What can I do for you? Oh, blink protect and shell. The same as before. Okay, I'm not worried about. I'm gonna walk. Thank you very much. Because I might find some new enemies too. That'll be fun. Don't you think? Nope. No new enemies. Just leg eaters and hornets. Vampire thorn. Okay, so that's new. It's another version of leg eater. Let's see how much stronger they are. Still pushovers. I mean, at least Furion and Guy can take him out easily. Oh, that's the Treadnought. Soldier. Yikes. I think he might be too strong for me. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, he's beaten a soldier. Which I think is pretty great. Sprinter. That's new too. Oh, that's right. Okay, slightly west. Oh, there it is. Salamand is the snow-covered place. Here we are at Salamand. Salamand Estron. Is it this building? No. Are you Joseph? You have business with me? Um, Mithril. Mithril? I haven't found any yet. 
I do have a few leads, but I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I'm going to need you to do a little something to prove you are who you say you are. There are a bunch of people from Salamander who are being forced to work in the cave at Semit Falls. Rescue them and we'll talk. You here for Prin Princess Hilda? A little short in the tooth, aren't you? You kids can't fool me. Okay. Alright, fine. I guess I have to do something at Semit Falls. Ooh, goblins and goblin guards. We've seen goblin guards in the first one as well. They're the slightly stronger versions of goblins. I did notice in Final Fantasy 1, we don't get very strong by the time we fight the last bad guy. But here, we're already up to the 60s. And we're not really that far into the game. Summit Falls. So this works, it looks like the same way as it did before in Final Fantasy 1. These guys are pretty easy. Well, it's funny how like the encounter rate really does kill you, but I have much better access to things like cure and potion than I did in the first one. Got 200 gil. And so it continues getting, um, getting chests of gil. Which is great, because we can buy things like teleport and life and things like that that we need. <laughs> one little goblin guard, what do you think that's going to do? Goodbye. And 400 gil. Just like I thought. Just a little bit. Ooh, basement level 2. I wonder when ATB was introduced. I thought it was introduced in 2, but it might not have been. Because it doesn't seem, this just seems like they're, everybody's taking turns again, like just like it was with 1. Hi, drops. Hi, potion. Ooh, a Sasquatch. That's a new guy. And I think there may have been an enemy named Sasquatch in the first one, but I don't remember what he looked like. Okay, I think it was one of these two. No? This, uh, no? Really? I tried every one of them and didn't. None of them worked. Wow, Min was getting pretty strong. Maria is the only one who's not very strong. Sorry, Maria. You're the healer. Ah, here we go. All right, so what's on this level? Two hundred gil. Okay, nothing in that room. Ooh, balloons. I haven't fought those yet. One oh four. You're getting way too strong there, guy. Guy. Alright, which door? Doesn't matter, because I'm going, getting into a fight anyway. Fighting all these squatches. Alright, far door worked. Hey, Paul! Furion, it's, it's you! I don't remember his voice. Am I ever glad you're here? This is Joseph Stalder, Nelly. I think that dastardly Morgan's been holding her hostage to threaten Joseph. Princess Hilda told you, told you to brought her back some mithril, right? Well, that's normally where I step in. I figured out that this was where the mithril was coming from easy enough. I thought I'd get the jump on you guys and nab the mithril before you could get here. 
Only I messed up and got caught. Me, of all people. Well, I know when I'm in over my head. So long, but don't worry. I'll take everyone here with me. Thanks for saving us. I owe you one. Okay. Cool. Do I get any Mithra? 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 My thrill. Okay, so... Get that treasure chest on the left. Then don't go down. Go to... Go up. Oh, and there's that door. Okay, so go left and up first. What do we get? Fire tome. Who doesn't have fire? Furion can have fire, because his name sounds like fire. Life tome? I didn't know I had a life tome. Here you go, Maria. You got it. You got your life tome here. Ooh, green slime. This is the first time we're heating. Guys. Oh yeah, that's right. I, think I need to use magic on them. Oh, wow, that's like a guaranteed poison. All right, I'm gonna fire on you. Cure. No, I'm gonna use cure. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do, really. Uh, you. Magic, fire you. Magic. Is it's soon a three. Three? And it misses? Cure status elements that wear off after battle. Okay. That's what I really need to use. Basun of six. Alright, heck with this. I'm running. If I see any more green slimes, I don't feel like doing the whole. Um. Fire, magic. I guess that makes them stronger magic users if they are forced to use magic. But... All right, I think this is the last one. One there, or I can go. Hmm. Finally, got into the treasure chest. Monsters, of course. Ooh, a land turtle. Hello, land turtle. You're looking rather swell today. What am I gonna get? Try a regular attack. Oh, zero. I know only magic can hurt this thing. Oh, she's at cure two. She must be doing really well then. Fire this guy! Oh, she doesn't have any MP left. Do this guy. Oh, okay, he can take physical damage sometimes. Oh, he's weak. Oh my gosh, he's weak against Blizzard. It looks like. Let me give, give her. I don't have any ethers. use that on Guy. Alright, Guy, come on, blizzard him up. Ooh. You killed the land turtle. And a teleport tome. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to use teleport tome on... Uh, guy is the guy. Guy is the guy. Ha, rebels. Never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. 
Well, if you think you're getting mithril, you'd be right. My mithril blade straight through your heart. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. The sergeant. Let's see if I can attack him. Yeah, so she's pretty much useless. Wizard. And let's do protect against guy. That does something, I guess. Just gonna be protected. And he'll protect Pyrion, even though he's not doing any damage. Oh, because he can... Oh, wow. If he wasn't protected, I don't know what that would do. So he's got to cast fire. Okay. It's Blizzard, and he can just do protect on himself, I guess. Oh, so that did do something. Cool. Oh, dang. Take him out. Ooh. She can't do anything. You are completely useless. I know you can use maybe a potion on someone. Oh yeah, potion guy. And then closer. Ah. I don't know what to do. Yeah, you, you have so much. Um, animation. Sap. Silence. Spell. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to attack him. Boink. Nope, didn't work. Hopefully this does it. Thunder, maybe. Try to point him with my staff. The thunder's pretty strong, I guess. Okay, you've got one more. Oh no, you don't have any more. You've got one more attack. No, two more attacks. Doesn't work. Alright, come on, guy, we're all depending on you. Oh, three. Okay, if this doesn't work, I'm teleporting us out of here. Hmm. Well, they're all out of ether. Oh, I can teleport him, maybe. This is gonna, this is gonna work. No. He's going to take us out. I don't remember this guy even being in here. Alright. Yeah, it's not going to work. Oh, okay. Sometimes they do damage. I'm just going to keep on hitting him until maybe he dies. I am going to make an attempt to cure, make sure I keep my people strong and healthy. Two. Wait a minute, I'm starting to think... That I'm not supposed to attack this guy yet. And if that's the case, that'd be pretty funny if I beat him. Oh, I can't escape from here. If 
Bye, Maria. I'm gonna cure Guy. Just so that he can get a few more good shots in before we all kick it. This is the one treasure chest that we weren't supposed to be able to get, apparently. Oh! <laughs> I won, and I don't think I was supposed to. Except that maybe I was supposed to have more. Oh wow, I leveled, leveled up a lot. Oh, that is the boss. That was a hell of a tough boss for this. Got me throw. Now that I'm back in Altair, I can go and give Mithril to uh, somebody. And he can make me Mithril armor. Oh, is it the weapon shop? I think it's the weapon shop. No, that's not the weapon shop. This is the weapon shop. And I can buy Mithril stuff. This guy. What could you want with me? I'm just an old man. If I had some mithril, I bet I could make some mighty impressive weapons and armor. Oh yeah, I have the mithril. Here you go. Oh, ho, that's mithril. I've been waiting for the chance to work this metal for as long as I can remember. All right, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it, I'll start crafting. It's been too long since I let, let my hammer ring. Clang, clang, I'm clang. Oh. You can buy the equipment I made over at the shop counter. This will keep my hands full, I'll tell you that. Okay, here I am at Poft. I gotta talk to the guy behind the counter. Or... This guy. Go to Bafsk. Um... Yeah, okay. Yes. Bafsk. I'm going to Bafsk. I've never been there before. Okay, so I gotta go to the... Okay, west of the magic shop. Where's the magic shop? It's down here. Oh, that's Borgen. Oh, this guy. General Borgen took command of things in Bevsk a short while ago. This Things have gotten much easier than they were under the Dark Knight. It's hard to believe a bumbling idiot like Borgen could become general in the Imperial Army. Oops, um, you didn't hear that. Uh... Dread so you're the ones who they've sent to destroy the Dreadnought. Don't worry, I'm on your side. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. But it's it's a way back it's a back way leading to the dreadnought. Be careful. If they see us talking, they might start getting suspicious, so I'm out of here. Good luck. Alright, here we go. To the sewers. Uh, there's no boss. See is seen with an airship, get a pass. Uh, three chests. Okay. Look at all the chests here. There's one Two. Ooh, long sword. I wonder if that's any better than the missile sword. Nope. Who does? Ooh, a zombie! These are the first time I've we've encountered zombies, and I just blasted them away. And a long. Ooh, maybe she'll be able to use a long bow. But it's not as strong as a mace. I'm just gonna keep her. She's gonna have a mace. That's fine. Here we go! You're too late. The dreadnought is, comp is complete. I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before your emperor. It is the only alternative left to you. Consider what I've said. When time comes, we'll meet again. Alright, dude. <laughs> Looks like you came over with me for nothing. See for yourselves. <laughs> must be Borgen. Borgen? Jorgen Bjorgen.
blast. The dreadnought's blowing all these towns up. We're gonna kill everybody and everything we know and love. Gotta pass. Oh, we are at Poft. Okay. Oh, and there are holes in the buildings. Oh no, what happened? You want an airship? You pay the guy behind me. Ooh. Airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure the Dreadnought's no different. What Sunfire? I'm back in Altair. It's all busted up like all the other places now. We did it! We did a good job! Did we do a good job? Many were wounded in the Dreadnought's attack. The shock has even caused my father's condition to take a turn for the worse. I hate that my father has to see this. He knows. He knows his death is near. Is there nothing you can do, Minwoo? All those who live must someday die. It is our fate. Still, it is my duty as a white wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. The fate of the world rests on you, Firion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. <laughs> then we left the party. Ask about Sunfire. Sunfire is the crest of the kingdom of Kashuan. Its flame still burns on the ground floor of Kashuan Keep. Scott and Gordon have told me many stories concerning the flame. The finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame cannot be held in just any torch. Sid told us we might be able to use Sunfire to destroy the Dreadnought. Then there's no time to waste. You must depart for Kashwan Keep at once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey should not take long. That leaves only one question. What can you use to bring the Sunfire back? So many perished in the Dreadnought's attack. Perhaps it would be best if we surrendered to the Empire. Scott sealed the gates of Kashwan Keep to protect the Sunfire in the event they were defeated in battle. You will need the Goddess's Bell to break the seal. about the goddess's bell. I've heard Scott and Gordon mention the bell. The gates of Kashuan keep only open only to the voice of a Kashuan or the ringing of that bell. The bell rests steep within a cavern on the snow plains. It will not be easy to retrieve. So it is your intention to enter the snow cavern? Very well. If only Gordon were here, there would be no need for you to risk such danger. But he isn't, so you must. There is nothing I can do but pray for your success. Joseph knows the snow plains like the back of his hand. You should seek his counsel. You got it. Will do. Gotta go all the way back to Salamand. Hey, guess what I did your thing for you, Joseph? Yalseth? It looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get me get to me. Forgive me, if there's anything I can do to help, all you gotta do is ask. The only way to reach the snow cavern is on my snowcraft. I keep the snowcraft hidden in the mine. There's a blue stone on the first floor that marks the spot. Look behind the stone and to the right, the secret room room's there, and the snowcraft is inside. I'm sorry I couldn't help you find the Mithro, so I want to make up for that by pitching in now. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Joseph, join the party. Yay! So I guess he's a puncher. Oh, let me just talk to Nelly. Come back soon, Daddy. 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 Okay, I'm not gonna... I hear it's, like, not good to buy anybody armor because they get natural defense or something. I don't know. I'm surprised there are no enemies in the water here. 
Actually, I haven't encountered one enemy in the water. Oh, at Summit Falls. Back here. Oh, here's the blue stone. Oh, to the right. What do I do? Oh. Joseph turns a small rock jutting out of the wall and a passage appears. The Snowcraft is in here. Here it is. Oh, I got the Snowcraft. Here we are on the... Oh, that's a cool Snowcraft. An icicle. Effective against that icicle. And snowman. That's kind of like a Sasquatch, but it's just a different color. They're still pretty easy. I mean, they haven't laid a single hit on me. But there's the first time for everything, and I'm sure it's coming up pretty quickly. But, oh, there it is. Right here at the ice caves. A snow cavern. Uh, two treasure chests. Ooh, a deadhead and a zombie. Zombies are not new, but deadheads are new. Those are kind of like the dead eyes or the elementals. I think they're an elemental. Oh, ghoul. No. Ghoul? Oh, ghoul is like a zombie. What was that one guy? He was cool. I'm sure I'll run into more. I want to see another one. Yeah. A uh, shadow. He's like a skeleton guy. He's super cool. I want to be him for Halloween. Kill. Uh, experience from that. Go. Treasure chest on the left. And are we gonna go on the right or on the bottom? Antarctic wind. What is that? Ooh, grenade! That's new. Not, um bomb yet. Self-destruct 3. Ooh, that's right. That Snake Heaven 2B. Oh, okay, there's some... Okay, that's all there is here, which is, um... They're just treasure chest. It's fine. Battle Axe. An antidote. Monsters. Oh no, they're they're gonna blow us up. Why are you attacking attacking guy? No, not Joseph. Not supposed to die yet. Okay. Let me throw mace. Cool. Oh, blizzard tome. Who wants to learn blizzard? I can make them all attack the land turtle if they all know blizzard. Ooh, dual heads. That's cool. They're pretty tough. They are pretty strong. And they're pretty strong defensively. Oh, dang. Not playing around. Oh, that's why Maria doesn't hit very strong. She's in the back row. Wow, two easy in the 200s already. Almost 300s. Maria is still awful. Oh, 
Hydro Spear. I got all this stuff and I didn't need it. Bulls just want to have fun. I think this is the last level of this level. There's a treasure chest. Left. Let's go to the left. Ooh, Mithril Shield. Why is Furion suit so weak? Because he's carrying a shield. Brings down his attack power. I don't think that should be the case. Monsters. Oh my goodness. sword. Ooh. Oh, okay. It's it's the little beaver guys. Snoop chit chit chat Snoot Snoot Chit Guys speak beaver. Uh, ask about the goddess's spell. Secret passage in wall to right. Monster guard bell. Bell in wall. Okay. That's an adamantoise guarding the bell. Stay on your toes. Wow. Lizard. Antarctic wind. Lizard. And who's gonna attack me again? Ooh. Oh my gosh, Ice Storm 16. 400 something. 480. <laughs> well, that was easy with that. If I didn't get that Ice spell, it would have taken me like three or four turns. I mean, it's still not bad, but. That's cool. There's something set in the wall. It's the Goddess's Bell. You obtain the goddess as well. Hello. Of course, Ash. You've already gotten to the goddess's bell. First, you ruined my standing with the emperor, and now this. The emperor will never forgive me for messing this up. If I ever go back to the Empire, you're not my head. But I'm still a soldier. If I'm going to die, you're coming with me. Oh, I do fight him. Blink. Okay. Knock him out. Oh, that was easy. That was really easy. He's hardly a boss. Bye, Borgen. Borgen Jorgen. Hey. <laughs> I may have lost, but don't think you have won. I booby trapped this cave. I just a little party gift for me to you. I'll be ready for you in hell, Erga. And he blinks out of insistence. Attacked by a giant boulder, Indiana Jones style. Damn it! Go on, get out! 
We not leave you. I can't hold it much longer. Run. Run. It's up to you now, Virion, my sweet Nelly. Squish. Joseph. And he blinks out of existence. Oh. Look at that. Oh, a queen bee. That's the first time I've seen a queen bee in this game. And here we go, off to Kashwan Keep. Kashwan Keep. Keep Kashwan. Oh, these are the same enemies that we've been fighting. Nothing special here. The clear tone of the bell rings out, the lock opens without a sound. I came to retrieve the sunfire. I thought I was the only one left who could open the door. I'd meant to look for Eagle's, ch Eagle's torch. Eagle's? Eagle? Eagle? But it's a monster's den in here. I can't keep going on my own, and I can't return empty-handed. I don't know what to do next. You know your way around the keep, right? Do you think you could help us find our way through? I'm sorry. The keep is riddled with secrets. I wouldn't know my way around any better than you. But I do want to fight. Will you let me come with you? Yes. 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 Alright, I guess I'm going this way. And down. Uh, a cure tone. Okay, I guess everybody's gonna have a cure. Oh no, he. So. Furion can have cure. That's fine. Ooh, Goblin Prince! Sleep for. Sleep for. Okay, that does wake him up. That's good. Alright, now you're dead, Goblin Princess. So I can go up a level or I can go in this door. Let's see, I should go in this door, I think. Nope. I should have known better. Wraith! Wraith's new. Nice job, Maria. I'm surprised. I'm gonna have Furion cure everybody. Soldiers got really evasive all of a sudden. that 
treasure chest, so I'm gonna have to go down here. Where rats? There were where I think there were where rats in Final Fantasy One. Maybe. I don't remember. I should look into it. So there are new enemies here. Wraiths, were rats. Ogres! Hi, Ogre. Hi, hey, Ogre. They look a lot different than in part one. In fact, if I want to draw them, I might, I might end up drawing them and try to do the same drawing that the original artist. Similar to what the original artist did. Why are you guys so weak all of a sudden? I'm scared. You, you're getting the Kashwan creeps. Can't hit a ghost, I guess. So I have to get that treasure chest. I think that's the eagle's, eagle's torch. Monsters. Oh, this is where the eagle's torch is. Oh, ambushed. Oh, what is that? It's like a nasty poison, like that doesn't heal after, like it, it continues after. Golden shield. Yeah, I figured. Okay, antidote. Venom, that's what it is. I gotta go down here and then around. Ogars. No. So this is like a regular enemy now. We're in trouble. Nice job, everyone. Oh, no. I'll try the door at the end. Okay, I'm just trying to gonna try to go up that staircase. Oops. Okay, I'm getting that eagle's, eagle's torch, and then I'm heading out of this place. Ambushed. I can head out of this place after I'm done with that. Good. Oh, now I've got to fight these monsters. Yikes. Okay. Mine. 
Okay, let's just try attacking normally. I'm missing. Self-destruct five. You're gonna take us all out. Alright, goodbye everybody, I guess. Nice knowing you. Oh, that wasn't bad. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot, Gordon doesn't have anything. <laughs> Oops. Golden armor. <sighs> I thought that was gonna be Eagle's Eagle's torch. Well, I'm gonna use. I'm. I'm gonna get out of here. may not make it. Ow. Don't hurt me. Ow. You're hitting me. Goodbye. Um. Cannot use magic. Okay, Let's see how this goes. Oh, I'd heard there was a monster guarding Ijo's torch. Now I've seen it with my own eyes. It's a red soul. Well. I think this was a problem in the original games, is that you'd get stuck in a dungeon and you wouldn't be able to get out because your last save would always put you at the... Like, the only thing to do is to be, to, like, erase it and try again. Like, all the way from the beginning. Dang. Those get pretty serious. Those battles. It's gonna take a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Sucks. <laughs> He's just like, uh, I'll go with you. I want to fight with you. Uh, I can't help you much other than that, but I, I wanted to make up for running away on you before and then the team just gets demolished and he's the only one left alive and he's running through the Let's try it anyway. Oh! Missile sword. Wear buster. Mithril axe. Okay, only one of those things is something I don't already have. Wear buster is awesome. Effective against beasts. Well, that's great. I 
I don't like Ogre Mages. They don't have... Because not only are they strong, do they really have to wield magic, too? Oh, I can't really talk because I have... I armed guy with magic. Ooh, more treasure chest. Eye drops, antidote, and... I didn't get to see a ghast. Ghasts are new, I think. Blind. I don't want to be blind. I want to use eye drops. And the mallet. Nothing really that great in there. Okay, now I'm finally here and I finally have, um, I mean, I have a lot of high potions. I can unblind myself. Here we go. Oh, I heard there was a monster guarding Ejil's torch. I've seen it with my own eyes. That's a red soul. I wonder if he's weak against Blizzard. We'll see. We protect against Guy. Wait, wait. Oh. Nine damage. Oh, it heals him. Don't want to do that. Okay, I wonder if fire will do anything. Oh, okay, magic heals. Is it this attack? Getting a, a few nice hits in there. 58, 23. It's surprising that he absorbs um, all those magic attacks. But it looks like he's out of magic now because he, he's not doing any more big giant magic. I think that's the trick with this guy. Red Soul. Leveling up, and it's Eagle's Torch. Agile's Eggle's Torch. Ego. Lego my ego. Okay, the sunfly the sunflyer blazes brightly. The sunfire blazes brightly. I'm gonna use Eagle's Torch. The Sunfire moves to Eagle's Torch. Alright, well I have what I need. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. There's a little scene here. Tractor beamed him. No. 
That's Sid's airship. Now, this is where I'm supposed to meet the chocobo. You found a chocobo! That was pretty easy. A lot easier than in Final Fantasy VII, where you have to feed him greens and then feed all the enemies around it. Here I am back at Altair. I'm back. Princess Hilda! Uh, Princess Hilda? Well, the princess was captured, and of course, this is all your fault, too. You? Blow up the dreadnought? You couldn't blow your way out of a cloth sack. Oh my gosh. Sid's airship has been captured by the dreadnought and the princess with it. Oh no. I've just received word that the dreadnought is heading somewhere north of Finn. No! The princess has been kidnapped. Please, you must rescue her. I will. It appears the Empire has, suddenly base, has a supply base far to the north of Finn. Dreadnought may be docked there now. Princess Ella! That, that's the Sunfire Kashwan. I'm just walking around with it. If the Dreadnought attacks again, we're finished. I bet. I gotta see Princess Hilda. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess I gotta find the Dreadnought now, and blow it up. Alright, well that's it for this, for this time. And next time we're gonna blow up a Dreadnought and see if there are any special twists waiting for us. 